Hello viewers, welcome back to another tutorial of Switcher Studio. Just in case if you are new on this channel, I want you to stick around because you're going to find a value on this tutorial and try to consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on when else I post another content like this. And just in case you find this uh, tutorial of a great value, please hit the like button and leave me a comment of anything of your thoughts it will be well appreciated so uh today the tutorial i'm going to do is on switcher studio switcher studio if you know how to use it is just like a tv station that you have in your pocket on your phone or on your ipad that has no limit of what you can do with it so and recently i think last week switcher studio did an update of what i call auto switch and auto switch is it lets you it let the switcher studio app itself help you switch among the cameras that you are using so like if you are a beginner you can look at what this app does but if you know what the app is doing you can tell that you somebody have to sit on the switcher studio to be switching around on the on the camera at interval but with this update you don't need anybody to to sit if you are short-handed if you need a quick break to go attend to something you can always turn the auto switch on and that is what we are going to do quickly without wasting much of our time we are going to dive into this tutorial so if you look I'm going to switch to the second camera so now if you look on this app interface I have three cameras the first one is the selfie camera of my iPad the second camera is the one that is viewing the screen of what I'm doing instead of doing like a screen recording the third one is the one that I just spoke to so to do this auto switch what you need to do is you're going to go to the bottom bar and you scroll all the way it's the last icon of a camera so i have activated it so by default this is what it's going to look like it's going to be on zero minutes zero seconds so what you need to do from here when you turn this on you want to tap on the short to uh you want to tap on the the toggle the short to to turn it on if you look the start still gray out and the reason is because we have not allocated any time to the auto switch so this is an auto switch the app is going to do the trick for you so what you need to do is you just scroll let's say we just want to do something quick for like four seconds switching so what is going to do now is when i activate the start button the camera is going i mean the app is going to be picking these three cameras at random so and that is what the auto switch is all about like before you have to manually have somebody that will be tapping it while you are talking on the other side of the camera but now you can host your show do everything yourself and just pick the auto switch so i'm just going to click on the start and let you see what it does so when i click start now you can see that the the camera is switching so i am not touching anything you can see my hand from the other camera that is live that my hands are together i'm not touching it and the camera keep flipping and switching itself between one camera to the other it keeps switching from one camera to the other switching from one camera to the other that is auto switch and why do you need this if like a youtuber that you are doing a, you are doing a uh, a product review and you mount a camera on yourself and another camera on the product with different angles you can always um, you can always use this auto switch to 
based on your preference of how many seconds you want for the camera to auto switch for you at interval of what you are doing so depending on what you are doing this might seem too fast you might move it like seven seconds eight seconds depending on what you are doing or if it's too fast you can reduce it to like two seconds but like one second or three two seconds i think it's just going to be too fast so yeah that is how this tutorial works so and that will be the end of this tutorial so just let me know in case uh you find a value in this tutorial please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on when next i post another content like this on this channel until next time be safe and i see i'll see you in the next video thank you and have a great day bye